Greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we are reading Genesis chapter 37. As we go through this chapter, may the Lord speak to our hearts. This chapter can be divided into three sections. Verse 1 to 4, Joseph's relationship with his brothers. Verse 5 to 11, Joseph shared his dreams. Verse 12 to 36, Joseph sold by his brothers. The first section, Joseph's relationship with his brothers. Jacob lived where Isaac had stayed in the land of Canaan. This is the account of Jacob's family. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brothers and he used to bring a bad report of them to his father. Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was a son of his old age and he made a tunic of many colors. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peacefully with him. In the next section of this chapter, Joseph shares his dream. Joseph tells his brother, I dreamt we are binding sheaves. My sheep stood upright and yours bowed down to me. And his brother said to him, Shall you indeed reign over us or shall you indeed dominant over us? So they hated him even more his dreams than for his words. Joseph dreams again another dream and says, I dreamt again the sun, moon and eleven stars bowed down to me. And his father Israel says to Joseph, what is this dream? Shall your mother, I, and your brothers bow down to you? His brothers were envious, and his father kept this matter in his mind. In verse 3, the word used tunic of many colors, the Greek translation of the Hebrew phrase used by Moses, a long sleeve robe or an ornamented tunic. It marked the owner of the one whom the father intended to be the future leader of the household, an honor normally given to the firstborn son. Now in the next section, the Joseph brothers went to feed their flock in Shechem. And Israel sends his son Joseph to Shechem to see if they are all doing well and uh, get him report. Now Joseph went out the valley of Hebron to seek his brothers and he finds them in the Dothan. Now when they saw him far off, even before he came near, they conspired against him to kill him. They said to one another, Look, this dreamer is coming. Come therefore, let us now kill him and cast him in some pit and we shall say some wild beast have devoured him. We shall see him what will his dreams come. Now Reuben hears this and says, don't, he'll, don't kill him but throw him into a pit and he thinks that he can rescue him later. They took Joseph and his robe and threw him into the pit. And while they were eating, Ishmael's came carrying spices, bomb, mirror and they are going from Gilead to Egypt. Now Judah says, what, we, what is the profit if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us sell him to Ishmaelites, and let us be not our hand upon him, for he is our brother and flesh. So they took Joseph from the pit and sold him uh, twenty shekels of silver to Midianites. Then Reuben returned to the pit, and indeed Joseph was not in the pit, and he tore his clothes, and he returned to his brothers and said, The lad is no more, and I, where shall I go? So they took Joseph's tunic, killed a kid of goats and dipped in tunic in the blood and then they sent the tunic of many colors and they brought it to their father and said we have found this do you know whether it is your son's or not and israel recognized and said it is my son's tunic a wild beast has, a wild beast has devoured him without doubt joseph is torn into pieces now in the last verse we see the midianites sold him to egypt to fatifar an officer of pharaoh and the captain of god on the left side we see the map where Joseph followed his shepherd brothers from Hebron to Dothan where they sold him to Ishmaelites on their way to Egypt. On the right side we see the chart parallels between Joseph and Jesus or Lord Jesus. We see some of the points here. In both the cases their fathers loved him dearly. Shepherd of their father's sheep, sent by fathers to brothers, hated by brothers. Others plotted to harm them, tempted, taken to Egypt ropes taken from them, sold for the price of slave, falsely accused, unjustly sentenced. These are the various points we see in this chapter 39 and we can also see some of the points in further chapters. Envy versus Unity How do we respond when peers or friends have success stories or fulfilled dreams? Do we turn bitter towards them? Do we mock or become envious of their success? Jesus faced this kind of envy when the chief priests arrested him for no reason. It is simply but important practice for us to celebrate the success of others as it pleases the heart of God. Psalms 133 is a beautiful psalm that reflects this aspect of unity of God's people and the result of that unity is a blessing of everlasting life. Another lesson we see in this chapter, the irony of goat. 
Jacob used a goat to deceive Isaac to steal Esau's blessing. Ironically, he was deceived by his sons who simulated Joseph's death with a goat. Another point is, here we see that Joseph was rejected by his own brothers and in John's Gospel, verse chapter verse 11, and it says, Jesus came to his own and his own received him not. Some of the notes are listed here. Verse by verse, we can go through this. And this is the notes of the next section of this chapter. We can go through this for a while. May the Lord bless his word. Amen.